Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Exercise 5.2, question number 6 onward. So, uh, I request you to kindly watch uh, exercise 5.2, question 1 to 5 and 5.1 to understand the remainder and factor theorem. So, question number 6. Uh, we see this expression this leaves a remainder minus 95 and 3 when divided by x plus 2 and x 2x minus 3. So, what we do first x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 2 and this gives the remainder of this one minus 95 okay the remainder is minus 95 but when you write uh, 2x minus 3 equal to 0 x is 3 upon 2 or 1.5 the remainder is 3 and calculate the value of a and b so we have to also use a simultaneous equation here so, first is 8, I need to put the value minus 2 plus A minus 2 plus B minus 2 minus 9 and the remainder is minus 95. This is the first equation. Second, we need to put the value is 3 upon 2. Or you can even write 1.5 because you are allowed to use calculator in advance. So 3 upon 2 squared plus b 3 upon 2 minus 9 and the remainder is 3. So this is the first step actually. After this you have to simplify like 8 to give us 8. 8 times 8 is 64 but negative 64. And positive 4a because power is even minus 2b is equals to minus 95 and plus 9. Uh, you can write 4a minus 2b is equals to minus 95 plus 9 and plus 64. And when you simplify this, the expression is coming uh, 95 is minus 9 and the result will be okay it's coming 22 so the whole when we simplify this is coming 4a minus 2b is equals to minus 22 you can divide this whole equation by 2 so it will become 2a minus b is equals to minus 11 this is the first equation to use. Moving to this part, 2 cube is 8. 8 and you can write 27 divided by 8 plus 8, 9 upon 4 plus 3b upon 2 is equals to minus 10 right hand side is becoming 12. 8, 8 cancel out is coming 27 plus 9a upon 4 plus 3 upon 2b is equals to 12. So 9 upon 4a plus 3 upon 2b is equals to when you minus from 20, like 12 minus 27 is coming minus 15. So this uh, one very important thing here when you want like you can take the LCM but my method is what this you can just multiply by 4. Let's see what will happen when you multiply whole equation by 4 like this is multiplied by 4, this is multiplied by 4 and this is multiplied by 4. This 4 is cancelled out is coming only 9a plus 2 and 4 cancelled by 2 is coming 6b. And this is coming minus 60. And afterward, you can also divide the whole equation by 3. This is coming 3 times 3 is 3, 9a plus 2b. And minus 3 times 2 is minus 20. Now we have this equation. We need to do simultaneous equation now. We can do one thing here. Okay. This 3a, I have a simple method here I would like to show you b is equals to 2a minus 11 is plus 11 
And here you can write b is equals to minus 20 minus 3a divided by 2. Both are equals to b. What can I do? This value I can substitute like this comparison. So 2a is equal, 2a plus 11 is equal to this value b. This is the easiest method in simultaneous equation when we like make all both the same. same. 2 times 2 is 4. A plus 22 is equals to minus 20 minus 3A. When I move this left hand side is coming 7A is equal to this will move in right hand side minus 42. And A is coming 42 upon 7 is negative 6. You can check the answer from here. The answer is coming of question number A is like 6 is minus 6. And now we need to put the find the value of b. So what you can do put the value here. B is equals to 2 minus 6 plus 11. And b is coming uh, minus 12 and plus 11 is coming negative 1. So b is minus 1 and a is minus 6. We can check the answer. B is minus 6, 3 plus 5 into and b is minus 1. So by this way, we have done question number 6. So now moving to question number 6, we have done. Now moving to 7. In question number 7, uh, this expression leaves the remainder 27 when divided by this. So this is the way what we can do. x minus 2 equal to 0. x is equal to 2. And the remainder for that part is 27. So we, what we can do, like uh, 2 cubed plus a uh, 2 square be careful we are having so many numbers in advance 2 minus 3 and the remainder is 27 so this is the first step like first equation expression we have simplified this is coming 4a plus 2b minus 27 moving right hand side is coming 30 so 4a plus 2b is equals to when i move when right hand side is coming 22 and when we divide this by 2 is coming 2a plus b is equals to 11 like what i have done divided by 2 okay the first equation is ready let's see for the second one uh and the remainder is 3 when divided by x plus 1 x plus 1 equal to 0 x is equals to minus 1 and the remainder is 3 so what i can do i can do the same step here uh, minus 1 cube plus a is minus 1 square plus b is minus 1 minus 3 is equals to 27 and sorry remainder is not 27 remainder is 3 so 1 cube is negative 1 plus a minus b is equals to 6 a minus b is equal to 7 from this, uh, you can make A as a subject, the substitution method I'm using now. I put it here. 2A is 7 plus B plus B is equals to 11. And 14 plus 2B is plus B is equals to 11. So 3B is equals to 11 plus is coming 20, uh, 11 minus uh, 14. Let me check 7, 14, 2, and 7, okay. 11 is there. 7 plus is, all is good. Yeah, 7, 14, 2B. So, see, like the value of B is coming in fraction. No, it's coming minus 3 divided by 3. Okay, that's good. Minus 1. Okay, that's going good. B is minus 1, and then I couldn't put the value here. A is equals to 7 minus B is minus 1. B is coming 6. Actually, we don't we don't need to find the value of A and B. The requirement is what? Calculate the remainder when this is divided by X minus 1. X minus 1 means X is equals to 1. And we need to find the remainder. So, it's very simple. First of all, in the original equation, I will write, put the value of A and B first. In the original equation, X cube plus a x squared a is 6 x squared here i'm putting the value here and b x is minus x and minus 3 
Now I will put this x1 here and that will give us the remainder. Very simple. Minus like 1 cube plus 6 1 square minus 1 and minus 3. 1 is 1. This is 6. This is minus 1 and 3. It's coming 7 minus 4 and it's coming. If the remainder is coming 3, let me check the answer. Sometimes we can do the mistake. Yes, 7, 5 into exercise 7, 5 into question 7, answer is 3, and we have done it. Uh, by this way, we have done question number 7. Question number 8, uh, what we have like the, the remain, the expression this leaves a remainder 2p when divided by x plus 1. So this is the same way x plus 1 equal to 0, x equals to minus 1, and the remainder is 2p. So what we write? Uh, 2p cube plus a 2p square plus 7 and the remainder is, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> mistake. The remainder is 2p, okay, minus 1 cube plus a minus 1 square plus 7, the remainder is 2p. Be careful. 1 cube is negative 1 plus a plus 7 is equals to 2p. Uh, okay, let's see. a is equals to a plus 6 is equals to 2p. Let me check the second part. They ask, uh, and the remainder of p plus q when divided by x minus 2. Okay, x minus 2, x minus 2 equal to 0, x equals to 2, and the remainder is p plus 5. Let me write. This is why I, I don't read the whole question first. So, 2q, because we know what we are doing here. Uh, 2 square plus 7, the remainder is p plus 5. Because uh, when we simplify this, is looking like this, we are having a and p. Sometimes maybe what we ask, 4a plus 7 plus p and 5, or equal to p plus 5. Calculate the value. Okay, this is a simultaneous equation. The same thing. We need to find the a minus 2p is equal to minus 6. Or you can what you can do your a is equals to 2p minus 6 and substitute here. 8 plus uh, 7 is 15 plus 4a is 2p minus 6. p plus 5. And just need to find the value of p and q. 24 minus p minus 5 equal to 0 so 8 and this is coming 7p and 15 and 24 when you simplify is coming 29 and is coming minus 14 p is coming 2 yes if i'm not 29 minus okay now i put the value here a is equals to 2 times 2 minus 6 is coming 4 minus 6 n is coming minus 2. A is minus 2. Can we check the answer? Minus 2 n p is 2. Okay. Uh, minus 2 p is 2. We have done it. Good. Wonderful. So by this way, we have done question number 8. Uh, question number 9. Uh, I think so. Uh, the remainder of this, when divided by this, is twice. Okay. This is very important question. This, I would like to say, the remainder of this like remainder of the first part is twice the remainder of second part so x minus 1 equal to 0 x equals to 1 i need to put the value a uh, 1 cube uh, plus b 1 square plus 2 1 plus 3 is equal to 2 times the remainder uh, normally, what I used to do, I, I, I normally uh, find R1, like what I do, I find R1, this is R1, okay. Let me check, what's R1? A plus B plus 2 and 5 is, is 5. This is remainder 1. Okay, I find remainder 2 now. Remainder 2 when uh, X plus, sorry, X plus 1 equal to 0, X is minus 1. So, when I substitute minus 1, is coming A minus 1 cube b minus 1 square, 2 minus 1 and plus 3. The remainder 2 is coming minus a plus b minus is coming plus 1. This is remainder 2. What's the condition? The remainder of this is twice that 
when it is divided by this. So it is very simple. This condition I can apply. A plus B plus 5 is 2 times remainder of minus A plus B and plus 1. So when we simplify this, let's see. We have to prove this equation. Minus 2A and plus 2B and plus 2. Moving all the values in like the left hand side. A and this 2A is becoming 3A. And this B, and I move in right hand side 5, and this is coming. Uh, okay, I keep all the left, shift all the way in left hand side minus B and plus 3 equal to 0. When you arrange in this way, like what is the requirement? B is equal to something. Make B as a subject. B subject means B will move right hand side. So B is equal to, sorry, B is equal to here. B 3A plus 3 is equal to B. So the B is equal to 3A plus 3 and we have 2. Okay. So by this way, we have done question number uh, 9. In question number 10, I would like to say something like about question number uh, 10. I will not do the whole question because uh, sometimes video becomes very lengthy. Uh, in this question number 10, you have to, like, the same remainder means, when you divide by this, same remainder means R1 is equals to R2. Like, you have to, uh, the same, like, question number 9, the condition was different, but here the, we have the same remainder. Same remainder when divided by this and this. So, first time, put x plus 2 equal to 0 means x equals to minus 2. And second time, you have to put x minus a equal to 0 means x equals to a. So by this way, we have done question number 6 till 10. I hope this, this video is useful for you. If, think, if you think yes, please share with your friends, your class fellows. Thank you so much and have a nice day.